This is the Zoom Servo Drive from Cross Seal for the Zeiss Lightweight Zoom. Hi, this is Nino from Cinema 5D. We're here at NEB 2018 with Tim from Cross Seal. Hi, Tim, how are you? Good, thank you. So you just introduced uh, a motor for the very popular size lightweight Zoom 21100, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So we are showing here the new Zoom Zero Drive unit for the size lightweight Zoom. And it's basically controlled by the Sony Smart Grip. So you attach, instead of to the camera, you attach it to our device. And then in the box you have this LAN cable and you put that one in there. And then you have the Zoom Rocker controlling the zoom of the lens. And at the same time, you have the focus magnification, all user keys and menu buttons. You are used to working with FS5, FS7. So it really has become your mission to add motors to lenses, to cinema lenses that don't have servo motors, like zoom lenses, of course, right? Exactly. So we are basically the mission is motorizing manual lenses or manual zoom lenses with our zero drive units and in a way that they are controlled with either gear you already have, like a lot of people have the FS5, FS7 cameras, or the inexpensive Lang Zoom Rocker on the market. They are ones with 100 bucks basically on the market. Okay, so this is, a unit. This is the unit? Yes, so basically this one is the one for the XK lens, um, this one is the one for the Lightbait Zoom, and then we have another one showing for the Fujinon MK lenses. Okay, interesting. Uh, so basically it's the same basis unit that you kind of adjust for all kinds of lenses. Yes, so we have to adapt it to the different mounting point of the lenses. So for example here you have two captive screws. This unit has three captive screws because otherwise um, we were not able to get the stability on there and the reliability we wanted to achieve and the precision especially. Um, and the MK lens has as well two mounting screws. So, uh, and in case of the lightweight zoom, we see that it works with the zoom rocker. Uh, this connects the standard handle from the FS7 directly to this unit instead of going into the camera. And then this communicates with the camera or, or just to get the signals back to... Yes, so we are directly forwarding any kind of signal to the, LAN, uh, to the camera if this camera is compatible of it. So you, you run into the system and run back to the camera. Yes, exactly. So this one goes over there. And then um, if you have a camera which does not have LANG protocol, we are doing the translation. So the hand grip or any LANG zoom rubber talks to our device. And then for example, the Varicam from Panasonic or C300s, um, then we take a specific cable out of the Lemo 5 pin and this way we are able to run stop the camera and draw the power out of it in one cable. Interesting. Um, is this, I mean, do you have to send in your lens if you want to add this to your lens or can you do it yourself? Oh, you can do it yourself. It's really easy. You have the two captive screws. You just place it on there. It's uh, in the box. There's the Allen key for it. Just do it once, two screws. It will take you maybe 30 seconds. If it's the first time, maybe a minute, but um, it's really fast and very convenient because of the captive screws not falling off. And once it is attached, it does have different modes. So um, what are the different modes and why do you need different modes? That's a very good question. When we were developing the unit, we had actual users um, together in a focus group and asked them, hey, how should we make the zoom speeds for the different speeds of the zoom rocker? And they were not able to decide on one zoom curve. So they said, hey, I want it more like this, I want it more like this. So we were able to find out that depending on the user, we need about four zoom curves or zoom modes. So the first zoom mode is the EB uh, and ENG documentary mode. So this means very slow creeping zooms, like if you want to really slowly zoom in, maybe you need to zoom a little bit out because the lion is a little bit too close to you so that you have it in nice framing. So basically a zoom in while you're recording. Yes, so it's really for zooming while you're recording. Then the second mode is a silent mode, so this is reducing the overall speed of the motor. This way, um, you don't. If it's really for very noise sensitive application where you want to have every little detail on there. Then the third mode is the live mode. This is more for B cam or getting the shots, like really go real fast, get the different positions and get the shot. And the fourth one, that's the raw mode. 
nothing in between, just the speed you want, it's going, it's really tough and fast. Okay, cool. What's the pricing and availability of the lightweight Zoom version and then also the uh, MX version? So the pricing is 1,726, I think, US dollars and 1,450 euros. That's list price without VAT. And then um, the lightweight Zoom will be available in the next four to five weeks. We have already pre-orders going on, so it's available for order. Um, the MK Zoom is now shipping since January and the XK version will be available for shipping in the next five to six weeks too. Actually, no, it's shipping already. I'm sorry for that. And the price point for all of them is the same. So 1,450 okay. and 1,720. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. Thank you everybody for watching. This is Cinema 5D at NAB 2018 and stay tuned for more from the show and also please subscribe to our YouTube channel.